Yeah, yeah, it is. No, why do you No, shit! <laughs> Next challenge! <laughs> Next challenge. Chicken. <laughs> Alright, today's request is Chicken Wellington. <laughs> but there's a twist. Oh, there we go. Today I'll be making Chicken Breast Wellington with some creamed kale, a lovely chicken jus, and a nice herb compound butter while ingesting copious amounts of foods. So our first step is our herb butter, so we can stuff it in our chicken breast, but let's start with the booze counter. All right. Start now, chopping a little herb mixture of a little sage, thyme, parsley, rosemary, and chive. Put whatever you want in there, it's free country. Personally, I hate chicken breast. I really, really hate chicken breast. So we're doing everything in our power to make it as tender and juicy as possible. We're also adding one grated clove of garlic and the zest of one lemon. Yeah! Alright, herbs are in the butter with a little salt and pepper, so let's get zesty, you know? Let's just don't be scared. Just gotta get in there. Doing the whole length of the lemon. Muy importante. Yeah. All right. Compound butter done. For a celebration. So I've rolled my butter into a little nugget, and that's what I'm uh, gonna stuff my bird with. All right. Now I gotta make crepe batter. Okay, so crepe batter needs an hour to chill, so in the meantime, we're going to make our mushroom duck style. Hey. <laughs> so, I'm letting my shallots and garlic cook down until it's all pasty and stuff, and then BOOM! I'm gonna hit it with sherry, and I've switched to Moscow mules. Alright, these are, uh, these are looking great. I'm gonna add some nice PX sherry. A little in the pan. A little for me. So, mushrooms are away. That's all. So, I'm making some crepes real quick. Do this in my sleep. Get it real thin. Real too thin. That was not the goal. But we will press on. All right. It's great. Ugh. Now I trust my good my good friend Alton Brown and his ratios. So I'm using this crepe recipe. It's solid. If you ever have to make crepes, Alton Brown. I messed up.
That's not right. But, you smell that? That's progress, all right? <laughs> We're just lubricating the pan for our globs of batter here. Thinking about two and a half spoonfuls. Crank it. Drink it. I don't think I've made a crepe in five years. <laughs> Alright, now that I have plenty of crepes, time to stuff my bird! Okay, so, I'm gonna make a laser precise incision into the breast here. Right, so, yeah, about that big. Now, I'm gonna unwrap my beautiful butter. This is great. Look at that! Alright, now let's go. I'm sorry, chicken. No! Oh! Right in there, you know? <laughs> oh! Oh no. Oh. Okay, don't worry, I fixed it, I trimmed it, it's in there. Everything's fine, okay. So now with my compound butter in there, I'm gonna season it generously with salt and not pepper. If I add it now, it's gonna burn up when I sear it, so I don't want that. So I got my clean hand and my chicken hand. Or my drinking hand and my chicken hand. Okay, my pan and my oil, nice and hot. So, chicken's going in. Yeah, I burned myself, that's okay. Again, we're not trying to cook the chicken breast, we're just searing it in hopes that it comes up at the right temp as soon as the puff pastry is cooked. That's this tradition. Now, Nate Dog, why didn't you put pepper on this? I'm going to tell you why. Alright? So, if I put pepper on it at this high a temperature, it would burn. I'd burn the heck out of it. Oh, I love that. So, None of my butter is seeped out, which means that I chilled it properly. And the hole is intact. Oh shit, now my butter is up now. Okay, so it's time to whoop. Alright. Now that we've added a little pepper to our chicken party. Time for a little mustard. Ooh. Ooh, now I'm using an Asheville favorite. It's called Lusty Must Lusty Monk Mustard. <sighs> so so nice and tender. Alright, look at that. Cool. Alright, now that our chicken is dressed with the best mustard in the world, I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge real quick so it doesn't overcook. Now it's time to make puff pastry decoration. Yay! I should have done this part sober. I really should have. Hey, look at that, I did the thing. Hey, hey, come go. Okay, so, oven's preheated to about 420. 
douche. We have all our ingredients prepped, so let's just do the damn thing, you know? Okay, we have all our assembled goods. We have puff pastry, our tough cell, a little crepe situation, egg wash, which I forgot, don't worry about it. So we're just gonna... Now, in lieu of a, a pastry brush, I'm gonna use my fingers. So, we're gonna slap that on. Slap a like if you remember, you know. I'm gonna take our puff pastry. We're gonna wrap it so delicately and gingerly. The likes of which you've never seen before. <laughs> but before that, we're gonna wrap it in our lovely crepes. Because I forgot about it, so that's a lot of crepe. Puff pastry, right there. Don't Jesus. Alright. Hey, alright. What's up, man? First I'm gonna brush this with a little white wash here. Firmly grasp it. Okay, other than ruining every step, it's starting to look pretty okay, you know? One last egg wash here. Gentle. This really tasty reduced concentrated jus earlier today. I'm gonna sneak a little in, in our vent holes. Bit? What? You wanna see my uh, uncrewed? No. Okay. Dirt. I love that moment. Let's see my secret talent. I think this is a two-parter. We need to bring the kale, do the reveal. I will see y'all in the next episode. But this bad boy, it's going in.